will see signal classifications then we will see system definition and examples we will see notations of signals notations of signals we will see notations of signals then we will see operations on signals so this is the agenda for the discussion in the introduction video we are going to see what is a signal what what are the classifications of signal what is a system and what are the what is the definition of a system what are the examples of a system we'll see and then we will see what are the notations of signals and then operations on the signals so let's start with the first point what is a signal so let us take some examples in the day to day life from morning since we go to the bed we will we will see or we will at least utter the sound signal some at least 10 to 20 times we will say signal send is weak in my mobile there is no signal in the mobile uh, can you come out of your room i cannot hear you there is no signal it seems like you are such kind of things we can see and we will say traffic signal some uh, road signs some many in, in the day to day life we will see some kind of examples of signals so if you look at all these examples a traffic light signal a road sign or uh, some indication like uh, the one person just giving a gesture hey get up hey what is your name just get up from there without even telling anything he will see simply then that person will get information that he has to get up from his place and in olden days if you see people used to send information from one place to other place using the pigeons they used to tie something to the legs of the pigeon and send it to the other place and the, these telegraph system uh, letters telegraph systems everything emails or everything some kind of message or information which we are sending is can be treated as all examples of signals so just like take example of this traffic signal what it is telling we have to wait if the red light is there it is it is conveying information that i have to wait there a green light comes indicate i have to cross that zebra crossing i am allowed to move there move from that place our road signs indicate that i have to go to the left side or right side so such kind of uh, uh, examples what they telling us is signal is a physical quantity which is conveying some information our signal is carrying some information so as as we have discussed about some general examples now, now let us look at the uh, examples in engineering terminology El signal examples are of two types electrical signals and non electrical signals electrical signals are voltage the telephone signal or radio signals tv signals etc et these are examples of electrical signals and uh, the voltage even the whatever the uh, uh, current which we have all these are examples of signals and coming to the non electrical category we have sound signal and the pressure signal the one which you are hearing my voice itself is a signal which is a sound signal uh, which is a non electrical signal so these are the examples of signals coming to the definition so let me tell the definition it is any physical quantity i am drawing a graph here this is x axis and y axis signal is any physical quantity that is varying with respect to in this case it is varying with respect to time on x axis i will take time a signal is any physical quantity that is varying with respect to one or more than one independent variable so it could be like time space or anything on the y axis i will take amplitude so signal is any physical quantity that varies 
with time, space or any other independent variable which carries some information. Other, other example of other definition of a system is it is uh, a function of one or more independent variables that carries some information or that conveys some information. I told you already examples. What are the examples? All those things. Now coming to the classification. Uh, one more example. If you look at another signal, it is any physical quantity that is varying with respect to time. It is any physical quantity. It is any physical quantity that is varying with respect to time. In here, the three signals which I have drawn are having different amplitudes, different of course same phase but different amplitudes are there. So just for the information sake, I, I am telling you that a signal is any physical quantity that varies with respect to time, space or any other independent variable. But in our real life, we will use independent variable as time itself. We won't use space or anything else. So whatever I drawn here is called as the graphical representation. as graphical representation of a signal then whatever I am speaking that statement of the signal it is any physical quantity which is varying with respect to time space or any, any other independent variable is the uh, definition of a signal and there is one more representation that is I will write this as the red one which is in red is x of t I will give a name to the signal x of t x of t is equal to r of t. This is a ramp signal. So I wrote it in an expression. This is a mathematical equation. x of t is equal to r of t. This is called the mathematical representation of a signal. This is called the mathematical representation of a signal. Now let us see the other examples as well in this x of t is equal to sin t and the one more which is x of t is equal to some square of t. Okay, So like this uh, we can represent the signal in terms of mathematical expressions. Mathematical representation graphical representation and the definition in a general statement. So that is about the signal. Now coming to the now coming to the signal classifications. There are two types of classifications. Signals are classified as multi channel They are also classified as one dimensional or they are also called as multi dimensional Signals are of three types multi channel, one dimensional, multi dimensional. What type of signals are called as multi channel signals is a signal which is generated from multiple sources. For example, take a EEG or ECG, they will connect multiple sensors to the patient body, or uh, uh, like if it is a heart e ECG, they will connect sensors here near the heart. If it is EEG, they will connect sensors near the head, brain. So, then we are generating a signal from multiple sources. Such signals will fall, fall under the category of multi-channel. Coming to one-dimensional signals, all signals which are having only one independent variable is called as one-dimensional signal. Example is x of t. Here there is only one independent variable. If you take the third category, multi-dimensional, it is called as 
Why it is called as multidimensional? Because a signal is having one or more independent variables T1, T2. This is a two dimensional signal. I can go with T1, T2, T3. This is a three dimensional. Like that, we can get multidimensional signal. A signal which is having only one independent variable is called as one dimensional. A signal which is having one or more independent variables is called as multidimensional signals. There is one more classification. These signals are of three types. Continuous in time. Discrete in time. And digital. We will call it as analog signals. Continuous in times or analog signals, discrete signals, digital signal. So let us see what is a continuous in time signal or analog signal, what is a discrete signal and what is a digital signal. Just take an example. If a signal which is defined for every x-axis value, for every time instance, it is defined. This is an example of a continuous in time signal. Time and amplitude. Second example for a continuous in time signal. A ramp signal. Time. This is R of t, we can write directly. It's an element, basic elementary signal with rotation R of t. We have one more example, which is a unit step. U of t. These are all the signal examples of continuous in time signals. This signal is defined for every instance of time. At origin we have a value. At 0 0.001 we have amplitude. At 0 0.1 we have amplitude. At 0 0.2 we have amplitude. At 1 we have amplitude. So on up to this last value. For every time instance we have a value. Here also same. Such a signals are called as continuous in time signals or analog signals. And a system which is processing these signals is called as analog system. Our analog communication will depend upon this type of signals. Coming to the discrete signals. Which, which signals are called as discrete signals is a signal which is defined at some points of time only. Like at origin we have a sample. Here we have another sample. Here we have another sample. is x of t. This you observe both. It is defined for every value of time but is defined for only certain values of time. Not, it is not regular. It is defined at some uh, intervals of time. But you observe here these intervals are regular. The width between this and this, this, this and this and this and this all are same. Of course uh, while drawing some extra space came here. But the width between these samples is unique. So, a discrete signal is a signal which is defined for discrete values of time which are actually regular intervals of time. It is, if it is 0, this is 1, then 2, 3, 4, like that. The difference between the samples is 1. So, samples are defined at regular intervals of time. They are discrete, they are not continuous. So such a signal is called as discrete signal and the notation will be, we will take it as x of n instead of x of t. The independent variable is represented as n here instead of t. So this type of signals are called as discrete signal. Similarly, we can draw for ramp and unit step also. Let me draw that.
So these are the discrete signals. Now come into the special category, digital signals. Today we are talking about digital media, digitization. Everywhere we will use this word digital, digital media. So what is a digital signal? Digital signals are the nothing but they are same like discrete signals but the magnitude of a digital signal is quantized the magnitude of a digital signal is quantized it is it looks as it is it is it is a special category of discrete signals it is same like discrete signals but the only difference is the magnitude of a digital signal is quantized so if you have draw a digital signal a general digital signal it may look like this something like this just an example of a digital signal so these are the three categories i said already analog communication will depend upon this signals digital communication will use discrete signals whose magnitudes are quantized and the advanced uh, subject of this sns is digital signal processing where we will discuss more about discrete signals signals and systems will focus more on continuous in time signals all the problems the majority problems which we are going to solve will be based on this category than this so that is about the classifications of signals we have seen three two, two classifications one is multi channel one dimensional multi dimensional second one is continuous in time discrete and digital there are so many other classifications we can get signals as even or energy and power deterministic random like there are so many other classifications are there in in the coming classes or in the coming videos we can see such kind of different classifications whenever or uh, wherever it is required now let us move to the next topic that is what is a system say for example if the audio signal which is coming from my mouth if it is weak you cannot hear me the audio which is coming uh, or the audio signal which is coming from my vocal cords through my mouth if it is not audible to you what could be the solution i cannot shout more than is you cannot uh, sit without hearing just by seeing me so what could be the solution is i can use a amplifier i can connect a mic the amplifier will increase my sound whatever i am speaking it will take that as input and it will give you more sound which is audible to you in the speakers which are uh, available in the classroom so such a device which is just take a, a box representation such a device which is taking a input signal my audio signal which is given as an input to the device it is doing some processing on that signal and giving you the output this is the input which we are giving we will use an addition x of t just now i i told you uh, what is x of t a signal which is continuous in time notation for the other one it is x of n for discrete so x of t is a signal which is given the sound wave which is given to the system system is processing and we are getting the output that output notation is y of t so from this what we have we understood is a system is a physical device you cannot see the audio waves which are coming from my mouth but the amplifier which is available or the mic which i am connecting uh, is visible it's a device so system is any physical device that will take a input signal process it and gives you a output signal the other name of the input is called as excitation and the other name of the output which we are getting is called as a response and if i consider the transformation which i am going to apply in the signal or the processing what kind of processing i am going to apply in the system we if i use a notation as h the transformation uh, i mean transfer function of the system is h then the relationship between output and input will become 
y of t will be is equal to h of x of t. We are performing some kind of transformation on the signal. So, signal is getting amplified and coming out. Say for example, if, we, if my voice is more louder, which you cannot tolerate in the glass by sitting in, in front of, in the first image. So then in such case, what you have to do? You cannot send me out because I am your teacher. You have to listen to me. You cannot put cotton in your ears. You cannot uh, completely hear me. So what you can do is, we can use another device called attenuator, which will reduce the strength of the signal so that you can get an appropriate output. So just take an example of your microphone, I mean earphones which you are connecting. If the sound, if some sound, sound, sounds will be having more audio, it will be reducing the voice. If you want to hear more for some for some other songs which is which are not that audible, you will increase the volume. So such kind of all devices and systems they are taking an input signal, processing it, and giving the output. So that is about a system, system definition, and examples, general examples I told you, like. Uh, a attenuator, amplifier, like that. Even the setup box which we are using now for uh, watching digital TVs, the uh, high definition, uh, I mean, uh, TVs which we are getting all will come and fall under the category of these systems. Now let us switch to the other topic that is notations. We will make it fast. Notations. It's very clear in the discussion only we, you came to know that notations x of t is a continuous in time signal. Then x of n it is discrete in time signal. So as of now these notations are enough. In the coming classes we will see what is the transformation of this x of t. It is it will become x of omega or x of f, x of s, x of z. Uh, the output, output notation is y of t. Other notation for output is y of n. This will become capital Y of omega, capital Y of f, such kind of notations, which we will see in the coming classes. But as of now, you can remember these two. x of t is a continuous in time signal, x of t is a discrete in time signal, y of t is the output which we are obtaining for this, and y of n is output which we, we obtain for an input signal x of n.